An unfortunate, disturbing finding actually by a Lake Ontario conservation group. Everything that you would probably see flushed down a toilet. Condoms, stained tampons, wet naps, all dripping, all used, all slimy. Yeah, it's a horrible thing. It's uh, Honestly, I was completely alarmed by it. That's pretty gross. Uh You've heard the news, you've read the headlines, but do you really know Toronto Harbour's story? This is Toronto Harbour, the heart of Canada's largest city. On a summer day, Toronto Harbour teems with life. Sailors, paddlers and ferries crisscross the water. Birds find haven here. Trout, perch, pike and bass swim below the surface. Millions of tourists visit every year. Toronto Harbour makes this city. After a busy weekend at Harbourfront, you can always find litter in Lake Ontario. Food containers, cigarettes, and other garbage are bad for the lake, but pollution's reach in the Toronto Harbour goes beyond litter. Look closely. There is sewage here, too. Sewage can cause rashes or illness. It can kill fish and birds or contaminate their food. The sight of sewage can drive away residents and tourists. Toronto's sewage problem is no secret. City officials are spending $1.2 billion to capture and treat more sewage by 2028. In the meantime, sewage flows into Toronto Harbour every time it rains. There is no cleanup after a spill. There is no water quality monitoring for boaters. The Waterkeeper investigation team raised money to test harbour water this summer. They wanted to know the truth about Toronto Harbour water quality. Investigators collected 166 water samples from the harbour. Two-thirds of the samples failed to meet basic Ontario standards for environmental protection. The dirtiest samples failed to meet federal standards for safe boating and paddling. This place near Bathurst Street and the Waterfront Neighbourhood Centre had high bacteria all summer long. Even when the water looked clean, bacteria levels sometimes soared. Sewage pollution was also found in other places near the water's edge. Are you wondering how sewage gets into the Toronto Harbour in the first place? There are nine key places where pipes empty into the harbour, underwater, hidden from sight. These pipes contain sewage from homes and businesses. When there is too much, they are designed to overflow into the lake to relieve pressure on the system. Rain makes things worse. Investigators found that most of their failed water tests, 73%, occurred after rain. That's because rain fills sewers, it combines with sewage, that sends more pollution through the pipes and into the harbour. The headlines sound scary. Sewage in Toronto Harbour. But headlines don't tell the whole story. The further you go from those nine outfall areas in the mouth of the Don River, the cleaner the water gets. By the time you reach the islands, Lake Ontario is mostly clean. If we stop the sewage flows, we can have our harbour back. We've done it before. Most beaches in Toronto failed water quality tests in the 1990s. Today, you can swim without worry at most city beaches. That's what hard work and infrastructure investment can do. That's what happens when people decide it's time to win back Lake Ontario. Every success story starts with people, like you, deciding they want clean water. We can make this choice for Toronto Harbour. You can help. If you boat or paddle or surf in Toronto Harbour, your story is important. If you take the ferry to the islands or catch fish here, your voice should be heard. Your story is the real story. Do you love this harbour? Do you want it clean? Then you need to speak up. It's time to make new headlines. Tell us your story.
Well, Mark, I really appreciate you joining us. President of Lake Ontario Waterkeeper, I really expected a more, you know, after watching that video, a dismal conversation with you, but it is kind of hopeful. And if yeah. everybody does their part, so your website is waterkeeper.ca. You might want to throw that in your phone. If you see anything by the lake, uh, go online, all the ways to, to get involved and also connect with Mark and uh, the great people that are doing great work for our Great Lakes is there. Can I say great any more times? Yeah, well, they are Great Lakes, so let's great. make them great again. Thank great you. talking to you, Mark.